GUIPy is a library that makes it super easy to make graphical user interfaces in Python. In the spirit of everyone's favorite first program, Hello World, in this Getting Started tutorial, we're going to create this application, Hello GUIPy. Click the button and say hello. You can install GUIPy using the command line. Here I'm going to use the integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code using either pip in Windows or pip3 in Mac. I'm on Windows, so I'll type in pip install GUIPy. And in a few seconds, the latest version of GUIPy will be installed on the machine. I'm going to create a new file now and name it hello.py. I've also got the Python extension for Visual Studio Code installed, and that gives me this little play button to help me run my code a bit easier. The first thing I need to do in my code is to import the library. If I import GUIPy as GP, then it just gives me the ability to use that shorter GP prefix whenever I use a GUIPy command. And the first of those commands is going to be to initialize the main application and window, passing in a string representing the title of the main window. We can start the application by calling app.run. Let's do that and see what we get. Run the code, and there's our window. Can you see it? There it is there. So it's got nothing on it, but it does have a title, and we can resize it. It's got an icon and buttons for minimizing, maximizing, and closing the window. Closing the window terminates the program. So we need to put some things on our window, and we call these things widgets. Here are all the widgets available in the GUIPy library. And for this very first simple example, we're going to make use of a button and a label. Before I create these widgets, I'm just going to set the width of the window to 250 pixels by setting the app.width property. Oftentimes, this is not something you'll need to do as the main window will always resize to fit its contents. But in this case, I just want to give us a bit of extra room. I'll call the variable for the button hello underscore btn. And when I create the button, I need to pass in three arguments. The first is the window to which the button belongs. The second is the text that will appear on the button. And finally, I need to pass in the name of the function that will be called when the user presses that button. Now we haven't written that function yet, but in the meantime, we can just use the special Python type, none. I'll call the label hello underscore LBL. And like the button, I need to pass in the main window to which the label is being added and the text of the label. Initially, this label will not say anything, so I'll pass in the empty string. Let's save and run the code at this point and see what we get. It hasn't really changed from the first time. Where's our button? The problem here is that while we've created our widgets, we haven't added them to the window. So that's something we're going to do now. GUIPy arranges all widgets in a grid. So the first thing we need to do is define that grid. So we call app.setGrid specifying the number of rows and the number of columns in that grid. Our application has two widgets, one on top of the other, so that's two rows and one column. Add each widget by calling app.add, in each case specifying the row and the column to which that widget is being placed into. The button is going to be in row 1, column 1, while the label is going to appear underneath in row 2, column 1. When adding widgets to the window, you can also specify some layout properties with named keyword arguments. In this instance, I'm aligning both the button and the label to the center of their grid cell. Save and run the code, and you can see our button is now in our window, but it does nothing. And the reason for that is that there's no event function associated with that button press. So let's define a function at the top of our code. I'm going to call it say hello, and it has to accept a single argument. All event functions are passed an event object, which includes information about that event every time it's triggered. So for this very simple example, all we want to do in this event function is change the text of the label, which means setting the label's text property. With the function written, we now need to associate the button press with that function. So we replace the none that we used earlier with the name of that function. This means every time the button is pressed, that say hello function will execute. Save and run the code, and when we press that button, the label will change from the empty string to hello GUIPy. So there's your first application in GUIPy. On the website, you'll find loads more examples and resources, and I'll see you in the next one.